Hi guys. Um, I'm sorry. I know I, I look terrible, but um, I am having some medical issues and I don't have a stitch of makeup. But I made you guys promises and I intend to keep my promises. I did receive a shipment today and like I have said, if I do receive a shipment from one of the websites I order from, I will open with you. So, I got, if you guys remember a while back, I had said that I had ordered something from Beyond the Rack. And I had just recently on, I think my last tutorial, or my last video, I said that if um, I didn't receive this order, that I probably wouldn't be buying from them. And now, what happened was, is I had ordered a shirt and this is the second time that it had happened and after waiting like three weeks I get an email saying sorry we can't get that uh, that item for you so now that happened twice but they did give me the last time a ten dollar credit now their shipping is ten dollars so I said okay cool I'll pick something that I can find that I like and need for around 20 bucks and that $10 will take care of the shipping because I always try to keep a certain budget when I'm buying from my website because I've also bought in from I think I believe I have some coming from Holt Look as well and I wanted to make sure that I used that $10 credit just in case I had a timeline. So I did, surprisingly, I you think that my Holt Look order would have came before this, but I, I got it. And it's not a shirt. It's something different. And it's kind of, I'm kind of bummed because I was really curious how that shirt was going to look. The shirt was... The sleeves were like faux fur, and it was really cute on the um, page, and it was a super great deal, and I was like, I want that good price, you know, and then when I got this, I pretty much, I go through everything, because I don't like to always buy the same type of stuff so I try to make things random as what I buy I don't, I don't just like if I don't like it okay buy it but I make of course I buy it if it's something I like and it's a good deal oh my gosh this is like insane to open <sighs> should have brought my scissors sorry I got it though but so if this is here today but Holt Look says that I should, I should be getting it around like the 20 something. So we've got, uh, they are by Michael Antonio, designer. Ooh. I got some coffee. <laughs> He <laughs> gave me a, my husband will like this, because he is the coffee drinker of the house. My stomach just can't handle coffee anymore. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing to put in my shoes. Oh, these are great. Now, I do have one pair of wedges. But I knew with spring coming, I needed more wedges. And these or what I got. They are so adorable and under 20 bucks. So they would have originally been under 20 bucks but with that $10 credit I didn't have to pay for shipping so I think they were like $16.99. I mean <laughs> these are very well. I mean, I have one other pair of wedges that are, I think I got a Payless. I mean, these are really, really, really nice. And these are, this is real leather. I mean, these are not cheap shoes. I want to 
to give you the full description if it has it on here. I need to make sure when I buy stuff I write down the full description so you guys know exactly what I'm buying. Um, it doesn't actually say. Oh no, I'm sorry. But they're they are made by uh, oh they're they're like I said um, Michael um, yeah Michael uh, Antonio I have there's so many Michael Kors and Michael so and so I I, I get confused <laughs> so Michael Antonio which I mean these are very nice and they're um, the platform sound all white. I mean, it just gives a brief description. It, it doesn't say whether they're real leather, but in the description when I bought them, it, it did say that, you know, these are, this is real leather and all that. So, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of work in my closet, and I'm going to be hopefully able to like after I get everything done I'd like to show you guys to to give you all you girls out there who have problems with how to store your bags how to store your shoes and stuff like that how to organize even like your jewelry um, the only reason, and I, I have a pretty good sized closet. It's basically two closets, com closets, closets combined together because it's like the way our house is, is like the master is connected to what is called a dressing room that is separated from the bathroom. And that's, it's like a large, not huge, it's not huge. I'm not saying like it's a mansion. But it's enough, it's, it's a room. It's not like a walk-in closet. It's a room because that's where the sink is. And I'm planning on putting in the middle of that room for probably like my jewelry, sunglasses. Um, there's a place called Fred Meyer. I don't know if any of you guys probably here in Washington, any of you guys live in Washington, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have seen where you could buy little square um, enclosed but with drawers and stuff and it'll fit perfectly in the middle of that room and if I got like two of them and stacked them on top of each other it would work great for Organizing your sunglasses if you have multiple pairs. Organizing clutches if you don't want to store your clutches with your purses. Organizing wallets, you know. Um, organizing bracelets. I'm very... I, because I have so many jewelry boxes, um, and I used to have my jewelry boxes up in the closet, but because... <laughs> Because I'm so bad about buying handbags, I had to go and take the jewelry boxes down, and I dropped my jewelry boxes. So there's probably like, because I, I can't find like certain earrings. Now, at first I was freaked out because some of the earrings I have in there, like I had a pair of yellow, half carat yellow diamond studs. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to lose those. Thank God those were still in there, but. The stuff that I can't find isn't anything that, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'll find it. It's nothing super expensive. But I definitely want to go over when I get everything done. Um, because if I were to do, like, you know, here's, like, a bag review over all the bags I have, it would be, like, a three-hour video. And I'm not trying to say, like, oh, my God, I have so many bags. It's just that. One, yes, I love handbags. Two, I don't, if I see a coach bag for five bucks, I'm going to buy it. I mean, unless it's completely destroyed, then of course I'm not going to buy it. But when I, before that, I, I never owned a leather coach bag. And I, I was at a thrift store and found a leather coach bag in good condition for five bucks 
I was going to let it sit there because, I mean, you can also, there's, like, there's these parties where they're like trading parties where you can trade bags and you get all your girlfriends together and, like, if there's bags you don't need, you know, like, one girl's trash is another girl's treasure, you know, so I have thought of that. I would like to have my own consignment store one day. So that's why if I can afford it, I don't ever spend over my means. Um, and it's a good designer bag in good shape. And for a good deal, I'm going to buy it. So that's just me. Yes, I have bags that are super, spot, like my favorites. And then I have the ones that are like, I could technically get rid of this, you know, I don't, it's a nice, it's a good bag, but I don't need it. But I still want to hold on to them because, like I said, I can have those parties, somebody else might want it, and I can get a bag that I want that I didn't have before. Or I can save it and sell it later, you know, especially if, like, I bought it for, like, a dollar. So... That's just what I, I, I'm hoping to accomplish within the next few months is, you know, at least before summer, I want to get that room done. Um, I do have, like I said, that shoe rack that I got. I'm hoping, I really want it, I want it in the closet, but I, I just don't know if it's going to fit. So, because, like, now I have another pair of shoes, and I have another pair of shoes coming because I accidentally didn't skip this month on just fab because when I bought my that necklace I thought it was the first of this month when in fact it was actually the last day of last month and I did not do that on purpose so I had a, I had a credit so of course I'm going to if I got charged the $39.95 um, because I had not realized I'm not going to let that money just sit there I'm going to get another pair of shoes so and I do need more summer shoes, so, I mean, who doesn't? I, like, one pair of really nice shoes that I have are falling apart because you need your go-to, like, these would be a good go-to walking shoe. Yeah, it's a platform, but they're not a six-inch stiletto where if you're going to be out shopping, like, you can wear this all day, and it's going to be comfortable, and you're still going to look cute, and you can still go out and kind of, you know, and walk around and not like, oh, my God, my feet are going to fall off. That's why I wanted to buy some wedges. And the, the next pair, they are, you know, I think they're a four and a half inch. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well four and a half inch heel but they're very thick so um those will also be another pair of shoes that I could go out you know on a nice sunny day and not worry about my feet are going to be killing me because I can't walk for long periods of time anyways I have to take breaks so I still want to look cute you know, I do need to buy more flats, but I always, no matter what shoe, if, if I'm wearing a shoe, even like this, where I know it's probably not going to bother me, I always bring a pair of flats that I know don't bother my feet. That So if I need to change my shoes, and I advise all you girls who, even if you have no problem walking in 7-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch heels. Just bring extra shoes with you. I mean, yeah, beauty is, paint is beauty or whatever, but after a while you're going to start walking around looking really funny. So it's better to just bring the stink in other pair of shoes. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it. Because I have been in situations where I have, like, you know, my designer shoes on and I'm walking, trying to walk around, didn't know where I was going to be going, and I'm walking on cobblestone for an hour, you know, where it's, like, hilly, and I'm, I have to hold on to my husband where I had to go buy a pair of stinking shoes because I was ready to fall over, because I didn't know where he was taking me. 
So you have to think about those kinds of things. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my Beyond the Rack purchase. Um, I've got some, one I'm not going to tell you about because I got like an amazing deal on it and I want to surprise you guys with it. But I think the only thing I have, well, I have the Just Fab coming. Um, and then I have the Holt Loop coming, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, I got my Beyond the Rack. They're still on my good list, so good job, Beyond the Rack. I'm so happy because I totally, I was worried. I thought they might end up on my poop list. So, that's about it. Thank you, guys. Um... This week's makeup tutorial, there's another reason why I just said, okay, I'll do a video today. You know, not to mention, I can't stand waiting to open a bag. <laughs> or, you know, when I get something in the mail, I want to open it. So, I don't care how terrible I look right now. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to end up being able to do the um, tutorial this week. If I do, uh, look for it, like around Thursday or Friday it's just gonna depend so as of right now I don't know that I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial so um just keep an eye out um I'll let you guys know you know but I would check like around Thursday or Friday because I would do my day before tutorial like the pre I know most girls don't do this, but I feel that it's necessary for if you guys want to do an, a tutorial and do it right, you guys have some time to figure out dupes if you don't have the same products I do. So that, you know, it's like, oh, you see how the look is, If you'll know if you want to try it or not, and you'll know what products that I'm going to be using because I'll show you beforehand. So... I know most girls don't, tutorials don't, they don't do that, but I want to do that so that you're fully prepared for when we actually do the look together. So, by Thursday, you will know if we're doing a look or not. So, I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's hope I get back to my full-on, goofy, happy self again. <laughs> real soon I'm just not feeling super great I'm sorry guys but I wanted to keep my promise so got my Michael Antonio's right here and I'll definitely be taking pictures when I do a look of the week when it warms up because it's cold outside so right now no open toed shoes <laughs> all right have a great valentine's day if i don't talk to you guys because i kind of wanted to do a valentine's look not sure if i'm going to be able to do it okay guys thank you all so much please subscribe leave comments you know if you want to say gina you look awful today i'm cool with it i don't care <laughs> all right guys love you all thank you so much have a good one bye